Hi, you're on. Hey. A couple of follow-ups from your uh, exchange with Adam. Can you expand on the connection between Marxism and Christianity? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, so think about Marxism as a system that requires you to sacrifice. Um, oh, think of Christianity. Let's start with Christianity. Christianity has basically two fundamental premises. One is truth is unknowable to the individual. It comes from some kind of mystical revelation. It happens to be God, but mystical revelation. And two, your life is not yours. Your life is to be sacrificed to a something, God in this case, but, but your life is not yours. Uh, Christianity says fill in the blank with God and fill in the blank, you know, uh, uh, fill in the blank with God and fill in the blank with mystical revelation. You know what you know through mystical revelation and, uh, and, and, and you're supposed to sacrifice to God. Marxism basically takes that same basic idea, replaces God with the proletarian. Um, and, and you have the same deal. Uh, you don't have, you don't have access to knowledge. You don't know anything. You're completely determined as an individual. Your fate is basically uh, determined by forces outside of your control. Uh, all knowledge is attained by the proletarian. Um, by the way, because all knowledge is attained by the proletarian, not by individuals, you need a mediator. You need somebody to take that knowledge and mediate between the proletarian and the world of the platonic world of forms where this knowledge emanates from. And you can call that the dictator. Uh, that that is a Mao, that is a Lenin, that is a Marx. Uh, they are the mediators. Or in Christianity, that's the Pope. The Pope is the mediator. The, the, your priest is a mediator. He he gets the truth and he reveals it to you. And then of course the sacrifice. You as an individual don't matter, but you're not supposed to uh, uh, sacrifice to God. God God is not in, God doesn't exist. You're supposed to sacrifice to what does exist, which is the proletarian. The 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 the, the the ma the masses of man humankind uh, who who matter everybody else doesn't matter. Can I assume that the proletariat comes to know things mystically, or is does Marxism have some view on how the proletarian gains the knowledge that no individual of, can't? No view of how the proletarian gets that. Basically, they need a leader. And and ultimately, Marx says this in his utopia. He, he never explains how you get to the utopia, and it doesn't really explain how the utopia works. Then everybody does what they want. There is no dictator. It's it's like a it's like a no, anarchist. Uh, um, it, you know, it's like a, it's like a, what do you call it? Uh, Noam Chomsky's uh, kind of anarchy. Um, it, it just exists, and he never explains it exactly how it exists, how it functions, and he never explains how you get there. But there is a period of dictatorship that has to happen because, it, you know, maybe in this utopia, everybody gets the knowledge directly. I don't know. But in the in an intermediate period, you definitely need a dictator to uh, intermediate between the place where truth lies and uh, the, the proletarian. Remember, all of these philosophies are fundamentally platonic. Uh, they were all Plato's cave. You know, it's all... There's a world of forms up there where the truth resides, and then it's just a question yeah. of who can access it. And that's Christianity is very platonic in that sense. Neoplatonic, they call it, but it's it's platonic. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening, you get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.